previously at Chikara. Player Dose, one half of the Super Smash Brothers, won the seventh annual Young Lions Cup by advancing over regular partner player Uno, then returning that night in the main event to advance over Soldran, winning both matches with its Frog Splash. We go on to face Colin Delaney in the tournament final the next night in Philadelphia, where he prevailed once more and captured the cup. Ultramance's Black, Crossbones, and recent edition Delirious came into our July event with lots of momentum. But when the colony triumphed over the Order of the Neo Solar Temple at Crossbones' expense, a rift emerged between the Rudos. Mantis berated his partner after the bell and departed the building with Delirious, leaving Crossbones' status with the stable up in the air. No one embarrasses me and gets to walk away with it! Because I leave a scar. Mentally, physically. Down to a knee! Strips him down! Hooks him up! Hooks him up! Tight! Hooks! Three! Three! It's not gonna happen again. When Kingston and Castagnoli met once more in the ECW arena, an awkward spill sent Kingston to the arena floor and an errant call by the official saw Kingston counted out of the ring. As a result, Claudio was declared the winner, but the match settled nothing between the two. Though Castagnoli was content with his win, the poor officiating has prompted a rematch to be ordered for a date to be determined. in line to challenge the Osirian portal for Las Campeonatas de Prejas are the Roughnecks, Granacuma and Icarus of Fist, as well as the colonies Fire Ant and Soldier Ant. All three teams satisfy the three-point rule to become contenders in the month of August. And the Fist duo are the first in line to challenge. Fire Ant and Soldier Ant have been on a roll since the addition of Green Ant to the mix they've picked up points not only in the U.S. but abroad in Japan as well. The last of these teams in line to challenge is the Roughneck duo of Brody Lee and Grizzly Redwood who will get their title shot in October. 